together.
now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be set free now. Be delivered now. Be anointed right now. Let every child be anointed with the power of the Holy Spirit. Let everyone experience the healing touch now. In Jesus' name, we claim the healing. We claim the power. We claim the deliverance. We claim it now. Everybody sing together. The Lord is consoling you right now. The Lord is hugging you right now. The Lord is embracing you right now. You can feel the anointing. You can feel the power. You can feel the Holy Spirit covering your whole body, your whole house, your whole whole room. Your whole house is filled with the power. Thank Him from your heart. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Mighty deliverance, mighty healings are taking place now in Jesus' name. The Lord is touching you one by one. Everyone is touched now. Everyone is anointed. Everyone is full of power. The power of God, the fire of God is taking control of your body now. Receive the hollow glory. Receive the power. Receive the anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Abba, 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 Thank you, Abba, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Abba, Abba, we thank you. Abba, Father, we praise you. We worship you. We worship you. We praise you. We glorify you. We thank you for all the angels, for all the saints who are standing here. We thank you along with all the angels and saints. We worship you. We glorify you. We can feel the anointing. We can feel the power. The temple of God is here. The, Jerusalem, the new Jerusalem city is here right now. The heavenly father is here right now. All the spirits and all the heavenly beings are here right now. We can feel the power. We can feel the anointing. We can feel the power. We can feel the deliverance right now. We can feel the anointing. We can feel the power. We can feel the intercession of the mother Mary right now here. The whole heaven is here. The whole heaven is here. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Shabala ba hora ba hari aradri da 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 hari. Shabala la la ba hora ba hara ba hara ba hara ba. Shabala ba hora ba hara ba hara ba hara ba hara ba. Everybody lift up your hands and sing together. Abba, send your power. Abba, send your anointing. Send your deliverance right now. Let everyone experience the healing now. Healing touch now. Shabala ba hora ba da hora ba shabora ba hari an. Everybody receiving the Holy Spirit now. Everyone is filled with the power of the Holy Spirit now. You can feel the anointing. You can feel the power. You can feel the deliverance right now in your whole body. rise and feel the presence of god abba we thank you for your presence jesus we thank you for your presence here in this blessed sacrament when we see you we see the whole universe in front of us in this eucharist we can see the whole universe the beginning and the end beginning of this universe and the end of this universe all the creatures in this all universe is here in front of us now we can see it in you lord we feel your power here now we feel your anointing covering us right now all the broken hearted wounded rejected lonely separated everyone He is here now in front of you, Lord. When we look at you, we see everything. In you, everything exists. You control everything, Lord. You are in charge, Lord. You know everything. You gave grace. You give grace to everyone. you move everything in this world you are the lord you are the creator for you and in you everything is created we thank you jesus we see you in this eucharist you see us as we are you know every detail of our life You know what we are going through right now. 
you know every pain that we are experiencing right now every rejection every loneliness every sin that we do you know lord thank you jesus thank you for the power thank you for touching us thank you for healing us you overlook many of our sins lord right now you are here now in front of us we believe in your presence where you are there is the heaven the heaven is there right now you are here now we thank you for healing everybody the lord is healing someone who has got pain on your left leg knee and also the varicose is vein problem the pain and growth behind your left neck leg knee behind your knee there is a growth the lord is healing you right now Corny the Lord is blessing you Rosemary the Lord is healing you Smida the Lord is blessing you right now the power of God is coming to every child of God here right now you can experience the power Shalalala bahuri aradri 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 Dominic the Lord is blessing you right now somebody who has got severe pain on your both side of your back just behind back you are you are healed right now the pain is just disappear right now in jesus name thank you father thank you jesus someone who has got a backbone which is bent and it is painful the lord is healing you right now someone who has got pain on your shoulder of the right hand the lord is healing you the healing touch is coming to you a teacher who has lost the job the lord is restoring the job back irene the lord is blessing you right now violet the lord is blessing you right now the lord is has seen the struggles that you are going through about your children the lord is blessing your family thank you lord my dear brothers and sisters as we are going to recite the holy rosary let us take the holy rosary in our hand and let us pray for the whole world especially all the people who are going through struggles and troubles let us pray for them and your family members are here for this holy rosary and adoration you are most welcome to this holy adoration to the presence of god this is the most safe place in the whole world the presence of the blessed sacrament and god is watching you and you are surrounded by the presence of our lord therefore be happy give all glory to the lord and let us worship him sincerely hello with mother mary and all the angels and saints mother mary appeared in fatima and told the people pray rosary regularly holy rosary it is not just a prayer addressed to mother mary it is a good news addressed to the humanity about the salvation through jesus christ therefore let us take the holy rosary and recite the holy rosary with sincere faith and commitment i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and i believe in jesus christ his only son our lord was conceived by the power of the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he shall come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us to not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from all evil amen for faith hope and charity hail mary full of grace the lord is with you 
Blessed are your mouth, women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are your mouth, women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are your mouth, women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Along with these five decades, decades of the Holy Rosary, let us also reflect about the Psalm, fifth, fifth Psalm, Psalm Chapter 5, verse 1 onwards. This is a psalm for deliverance from all the enemies. This is a psalm supposed to be recited in the morning. And you get up in the morning, if you are going through struggles, especially if you think you have so many enemies around you, pray sincerely and repeat this psalm in the morning. You will see the deliverance. The Lord will protect you through the power of the uh, word of God. So, in this psalm, David is praying in the presence of God, asking his protection to protect him from all kinds of enemies who are surrounding him. Let us start reading this psalm, chapter 5, verse 1. Give ear to my words, words O Lord. Lord. Repeat after me. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give heed to my sighing. Give heed to my sighing. Listen to the sound of my cry. Listen to the sound of my cry. My King and my God. My King and my God. For to you I pray. For to you I pray. O Lord. O Lord. In the morning you hear my voice. In the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I plead my case to you. In the morning I plead my case to you. And watch and watch let us re re reflect about this passage in the moments of sighing and deep pain David is crying and claiming claiming that the Lord himself is the king for him and he's surrendering himself totally in the holy in the morning itself and asking God to listen to his prayer along with this let us reflect the first mystery the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ, triumphing over death, rose again on the third day, glorious and immortal. Let us pray for all the religions in the world and especially all the religious persecutions are taking place in different places. There are riots and violences are taking place in different parts of the world in the name of religion. Let us pray in a special way for Sweden. The Sweden is going through a, the country Sweden is going through a tough time and crisis. It was one of the most peaceful countries in the world, but now without any peace, let us pray for that country, especially all the violence that is being stirred up. Let us pray for all those who are causing and all those who are victim of this. Let us pray so that let that country be once again peaceful. And also let us pray for all the other countries which are affected by religious violences. Let there be peace. Let every religion stand for the peace of God. And let us pray in a special way all the Christians who are persecuted around the world. As we recite, let's offer this intention. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, 
now, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, As it was the beginning, is now, now and ever shall, shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Saint Joseph, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Augustine of England. Let us read Psalm chapter five, verse four, four to six. Psalm chapter five, verse four to six. For you are not a God who delights in wickedness. For you are not a God, God who delights in wickedness. Evil will not sojourn with you. Evil will not sojourn with you. The boastful will not stand before your eyes. The boastful will not stand before your eyes. Verse 5. The boastful will not stand before your eyes. The boastful will not stand before your eyes. You hate all evil doers you hate all evil doers verse 6 you destroy those who speak lies you destroy those who speak lies the word of god says those who speak lies will be destroyed so this is a word that speaks that we should never ever say lies you destroy those who speak lies the word of god says all those who speak lies will be destroyed the Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful. Let us reflect about this passage as we recite the second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord Jesus. Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus, 40 days after his resurrection, ascended into heaven in the presence of his most holy mother and apostles and disciples. Somebody who is having extreme headache and also your eyesight is blurred and sometimes something is coming and covering your eyesight and is affecting your eyesight. The Lord is healing you right now in Jesus name. In this mystery let us pray for all those who are discerning their career, discerning their future, their studies, their course of life that they need to take. Let us pray for those who are in confusion and those who are discerning to take a proper decision about their future life. Let us pray for them in a special way, especially all the youngsters, all the children who are planning to go to the university and other places. Let them be able to take the right course that they want to take, that they uh, should be taking. Let us pray for them as we look at the Blessed Sacrament and recite this second mystery of the Holy Rosary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now mm -hmm. and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now mm -hmm. and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. O my, my Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray in a special way for all the departed souls from our families. During this COVID-19, thousands of people have died. Many of them, it did not even get proper burial process, burial ceremony and burial prayers from the church. Many of them, it even did not get proper confession. Let us pray for all of them right now. If you know any one of them, if you know any one of them right now, let us pray for them, especially our own family members, relatives and friends, or anyone whom we know. Let us offer them right now in Jesus' name in front of the Lord. On behalf of all of them, on behalf of all of them, let us pray, Lord, I need you. Right now, I need you, Lord. Maybe they are crying and praying in, in the purgatory. Maybe they are somewhere else in the presence of God, thirsting and praying. And let us pray for all of them especially those who are in the moment of uh, the last moment of that uh, death maybe they are in the singing stage in different hospitals there are people who have died already and who are going through purgatory experience and there are people who are waiting in the in uh, in different hospitals or homes for their final moment let us pray for all of them so that they all may be consoled and strengthened through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, we need you, Lord. We need your power. We need your anointing. We need your deliverance, Lord. Nothing is impossible for you, Lord. Let's pray.
let's close our eyes and feel the presence of God the whole world is in need of Jesus the whole world stands in need of our Lord Jesus we are worshiping the Almighty God and say Lord we need you all the children all the world all the leaders of this world all the soldiers all the police officers all the doctors all the nurses all the hospitals all the schools and colleges all the teachers everybody everybody needs Jesus everybody need the Lord you right now Vicky the Lord is blessing you right now Jesse the Lord is blessing you consoling you touching you and giving you a very good job Philip the Lord is healing your legs now Abba Edwin, the Lord has seen your tears. The Lord is blessing you. Somebody who has got gum bleeding, the Lord is healing you. Somebody who is doubting cancer, the Lord is clearing you. And there is no cancer, the Lord is healing you. Somebody who is suffering from liver problem, liver related problem, the Lord is healing you right now. Someone who has got severe pain on your ribs, the Lord is healing you right now. Maria, the Lord is blessing you. Malcolm, the Lord is blessing you right now. Gracie, the Lord is blessing you. Jacinda, the Lord is consoling you. Alphonse, the Lord is blessing you in a special way. Ambrose, the Lord is calling you by name and to do the ministry of the Lord. The Lord is inviting you to do the ministry. Lisha, the Lord is blessing you. Macklin, the Lord is blessing you right now. Thank you, Lord. Let us look at the blessed sacrament and sing together. Lord, I need you right now. Let's take Psalm chapter 5 verse 7 onwards. Psalm chapter 5 verse 7 onwards. But I through I through the abundance of your steadfast love. But I through the abundance of your steadfast love will enter your house. Will enter your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in awe of you. 
I will bow down toward your holy temple in all of you. Lead me, O oh Lord. Lead me, O oh Lord. In your righteousness. In your righteousness. Because of my enemies. Because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. Make your way straight before me. David is David is begging in front of the Lord, asking God's protection, God's blessings. Let us reflect about this passage when we recite the third decade of the Holy Rosary, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ, being seated at the right hand of God, sent as he had promised the Holy Spirit upon his apostles who after the ascension returned to Jerusalem and continued in prayer and supplication with the Blessed Virgin Mary, expecting the fulfillment of his promise. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray for the baptism in the Holy Spirit. All those who are participating in this live streaming, let them all have an experience of baptism in the Holy Spirit. Let everyone have an experience of baptism in the Holy Spirit. Let us pray in this decade of the Holy Rosary for this. When we have a baptism in the Holy Spirit, we will become powerful. The Holy Spirit is already there in you through the sacrament of confirmation. But in the baptism in the Holy Spirit, you are releasing the activities of the Holy Spirit in your life. You are allowing the Holy Spirit to take control of every aspect of your body. That is what we call baptism in the Holy Spirit. All that, all the Catholics, all those who are, all those who are receive bapt the baptism and the sacrament of confirmation, you have the Holy Spirit in you. But we have, we are controlling the activities of the Holy Spirit by suppressing the Holy Spirit inside. But when we have a baptism in the Holy Spirit, we release the Holy Spirit and we allow the Holy Spirit to take control of us. Otherwise, we are controlling the Holy Spirit. But when we have a baptism in the Holy Spirit, we release the Holy Spirit. How do we get the baptism in the Holy Spirit? In order to get the baptism in the Holy Spirit, we have to surrender totally every part of our body, mind and soul in the hands of the Holy Spirit. We need to forgive enemies. We have to stop all our bad habits. We have to get rid of all our comfort zones and say, Holy Spirit, you take control of me. You take control of me and my family, my situation, my feeling, my emotions, my relationship, my attachments, everything. You take control. I surrender to you totally. That is when the baptism in the Holy Spirit takes a U-turn in your life will happen. Then you will become powerful. From that moment, you become powerful because it is no more you who live but Christ lives in you through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray for this intention as we recite this holy mystery, the third mystery of the Holy Rosary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation. But, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, 
now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for, for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was the beginning, beginning, is now, and, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my, oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. Let us read Psalm chapter five, verse nine and ten. Psalm five nine. For there is no truth in their mouths. For there is no truth in their mouths. Their hearts are destruction. Their hearts are destruction. Their throats are open graves. Their throats are open graves. They flatter with their tongues. They flatter with their tongues. Make them bear their guilt, O God. Make them bear their guilt, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Let them fall by their own counsels. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out. Because for they have rebelled against you. For they have rebelled against you. The fourth decade of the Holy Rosary. The Assumption of our Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us contemplate in this mystery how the glorious Virgin Mary, many years after the resurrection of her son, passed out of this world to him and was taken bodily into heaven, accompanied by the holy angels. In this mystery, let us pray for all those who are doing evangelization work. There are so many families I just recently came to know from many people there are so many families in different parts of the world in uh, many places in uh, Goa and uh, many other places part of the world uh, in Africa and many other parts of the world there are some uh, humble uh, human beings who are spreading the evangelization sharing the word by sending a plan uh, you know organized way they sent this live streaming uh, to so many families and so many people and so they make the groups and send it to so many families they make phone calls to individuals and say we we would like to send you this live streaming it is useful for you it is bringing family blessings for you and they enlighten people through over the phone and then encourage everybody to watch online services and there are so many who are blessed because of this and my dear brothers and sisters, let us pray for these people, these simple, humble people who spread the word of God in their own way, in whatever they can do, by just sharing this link of live streaming to so many people whom they know, even the non-Christians, they give it to even non-Christians. There are so many non-Christians who are also participating in this live streaming and receiving mighty blessings and so many of them are accepting Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And this is a great miracle, my dear brothers and sisters. Therefore, let us pray for these people who are instrumental in sharing and spreading this message to their family members and, uh, and all the others. Along with them, let us also pray for those who are ashamed, those who are ashamed of the Word of God, those who are afraid to share, those who are ashamed to share and if you have benefited, surely it is going to be a beneficial for others. So please make sure that you spread this gospel, spread this good news. Sometimes certain word of God, many people say, Father, I don't know how to preach. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to tell the people what is right and wrong. That is why 
we share the word of god you just share the link and the word will reach to every nook and corner of this world my dear brothers and sisters let us work together and see the result let us pray for them all those who are the workers in the vineyard the laborers in the vineyard who are working hard silently not because the fathers from divinity center told them but because the holy spirit inspired them let us pray for them in a special way so that they may be blessed in a mighty way let us uh, pray for them in this decade of the holy rosary our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us, us. Do not, Do not let, let us fall into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of, of God, God, pray for, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for, for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for, for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for, for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. O oh, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was the, the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and ever shall be, the world, world without end. Amen. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fear of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. My dear brothers and sisters, let us worship God. Let us look at the Blessed Sacrament who is present here. In this, mystery, in this uh, worship, let us remember all the retreat preachers around the world. There are so many preachers who share the Word of God in the Catholic Church and also in other denominations. There are so many sincere people who work hard for the Lord. Let us pray for them. Whether they belong to any denomination, their sincerity and commitment to the ministry of the Lord should be remembered and be rewarded by the Lord. Let us pray for them. Let us also pray in these moments of lockdown, many of these preachers and the, uh, the laborers of the vineyard of the Lord could not do anything and they are struggling to survive in many places, many, many areas. Let us promise to Jesus, if anybody whom we know who are struggling in this lockdown time, they were once upon a time, they are busy sharing the word of God and that's how somehow they managed to survive. But now they are struggling to survive. 
it's our duty to support them it's our duty to help them in whatever way it's possible let us promise to jesus that those who are sharing the word they should not struggle now they have, they have to take care of their family members they have they have family husband wife and children and their daily life let us pray in a special way for them and also whatever we could do to help and support them we should do that to them especially those whom we know very personally that they are struggling they let us help, help them support them make a phone call to them and say brother how are you and how is everything is everything is okay is everything is taken care it will be a great help for them especially because they do serve the lord they show, therefore we have a duty to support them anybody who belong to any the denomination if they were sharing the word of god from their convictions it's our duty to help them let us pray for them and as we worship god on behalf of all of them especially those who are struggling in these moments of crisis and struggle let us pray for them in a special way on behalf of all of them on behalf of every worshipers all the preachers all the evangelists in the whole world let us worship our lord jesus who is present in the blessed sacrament let everyone's eyes be opened right now we pray for this intention let's worship god singing together glorifying the lord he is here right now thank you father thank you lord on behalf of the whole world on behalf of all the pastors all the priests all the servants of God, all the brothers and sisters who are serving we worship you we praise you you are present in the blessed sacrament
let us read psalm chapter 5 verse 11 and 12 but let all who take refuge in you rejoice but let all who take refuge in you rejoice let them ever sing for joy let them ever sing for joy spread your protection over them spread your protection over them so that those who love your name may exult in you so that those who love your name may exult in you for you bless the righteous o lord for you bless the righteous o lord you cover them with favor as with a shield you cover them with favor as a shield for you bless the righteous o lord for you bless the righteous o lord you cover them with favor as a shield you cover them with favor as a shield Let's recite the fifth decade of the Holy Rosary the coronation of a blessed virgin mary let us contemplate in this mystery how the glorious virgin mary was to the great jubilation and exaltation of the whole court of heaven crowned by her son with the brightest diadem of glory and how all the saints rejoice with her in heaven my brothers and sisters let us pray in a special way for all the team members of the and the divinity center all this all the choir members who are sacrificing their time energy everything for this music ministry and the worship every day without failure and let's also pray for all the volunteers who are working in different areas of the divinity center there are so many people who are praying from outside outside the retreat center they do pray in the session hundreds of them hundreds and thousands of them who are praying for the divinity center daily and also we have different ministries are working along with this the under my roof youth program bambino program for the small children and also the newsletter the powerful intercession every friday every wednesday there are hundreds of people who are interceding for the divinity center from around the world through the zoom and let us also pray for different youth ministries let us talk about it uh there is a moment there is a ministry called let us talk about it youth uh, sharing of the word of god and also let us pray for all the other uh, ministries different language retreats that are taking place and that also there are word of god ministries uh, the, the bible studies let us pray for everything that is taking place there is also prayer tower there are so many who are interceding for those people who sent prayer request to divinity center let us pray for all these ministries that is going along with this live streaming in from divinity center during this lockdown with all the limited capacities let us pray for all these things and pray for these people who are involved in it our father who art in heaven hello be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us do, do not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from, from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy, holy mary mother of god pray for us in this Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. 
Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners. Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fire of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Augustine of England, pray for us. Let us pray in a special way. Close your eyes and pray. The Lord is blessing Ursula. The Lord is blessing you right now. Nelson, the Lord is blessing you. Somebody who has got lower abdomen pain and urinary infection, the Lord is healing you. Someone who is hearing noises from your ears, the Lord is healing you. Ambrose, the Lord is healing you right now. The Lord is listening to your cries and prayer. The Lord's power is coming to everyone. Someone who has got weakness in your left hand, you can't do anything with your right, left hand. But now, the Lord is strengthening your leg, uh, left hand. The Lord is also healing somebody who has got problem with the length of your leg. One leg is uh, uh, longer than uh, the other leg and you have a limbing problem. The Lord is healing you right now. And somebody who is not clear when you speak, your words are not clear, make people make fun of you. And the Lord is healing you right now. And the Lord is healing, uh, blessing ch some children who are afraid and sh ashamed to go to school. The Lord is helping you and encouraging you to go to school. You, the block is remote. The Lord is blessing so many people right now. A child who is not able to study well and not, not able to write down properly, always make mistake. The Lord is helping that child right now. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Jesus, to Jesus. Thank Jesus, you, Father. Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody who has got swelling on your knees, the Lord is healing you. The swelling on your knees is healed. The Lord is right. A mother who is struggling to breastfeed because there is no milk. The Lord, mother is crying and worried. And the Lord is blessing that mother who is able to help the baby. Thank you, Jesus. Praise to Jesus. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. Abba, Father, we praise you. Abba, Father, we glorify you. And Sandosh, the Lord is blessing you. Lini, the Lord is blessing you. Rita, the Lord is blessing you. The Lord's blessings are coming to you. Our God is good. All the time, His power is an, uh, available for the whole world. Let's sing together, worshiping God at the top of your voice. Glorify the Lord, singing together. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Shabulla bahora bandhu hora bas shabora bahari aradri. She the Lord is blessing you. See me, the Lord is blessing you. Mini, the Lord is blessing you right now. Shanti, the Lord is blessing you right now. Shabulla bahori aradri. Raphael, Raphael, the Lord is blessing you. Apachan, the Lord is blessing you. Let's clap our hands and sing together joyfully, rejoicing in the presence of God and glorify the Lord. Sacrament. Clap your hands 
and sisters let us look at the blessed sacrament and before we receive the blessing let us speak to the Lord let us speak to the Lord and share with him everything that you need to share I'm going to read out some of the testimonies the people have sent as I'm reading out the testimonies you can share your personal intentions in front of the blessed sacrament I am Sofia Fernandez from Goa I had pain and numbness on life left side of my face neck shoulder and chest since January 2020 on 3rd September my name was called out Sophia God is consoling you and same day and it was announced somebody having pain on left side of face chest to shoulder God is healing you I immediately experienced the healing touch and I'm healed completely praise the Lord praise the Lord there is a testimony I just want to share what the Lord has done in my life God has blessed me. It's a testimony from Katrina. For a month, I am and all my family members are without work. Two of my brothers, no salary, six months. But still, my Lord supplied all our daily need because we always watch the Vanity Center online. And we all keep our eyes in Jesus, what he said in his word. And the Lord has healed five of my family members from COVID-19. Not only that, on 24th August, me and my two brothers, God has blessed us with a new job. And job is so good, we're sitting and doing our work. It's so light work. Always I used to encourage my brothers not to worry about anything because God has kept us better work. Really, it happened. What I say, it came true according to Mark 11, 24. This job, this job salary also more. I am thanking God for this. I give glory to the Lord, Savior, who blessed us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And we have received so many blessings by attending this live streaming every day. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There is another testimony from Jennifer. Good afternoon. I don't know. the. Uh, I was talking. I was taking blood pressure tablets. And if I don't even take for one single day, I was not able to sleep. But since many months, I stopped taking medication because as I was attending live streaming I was always asking God to heal me and yes God have healed me of blood pressure now no more tablets I take no more I take sleeping sleeping tablets tablets and I eat all kinds of food even my daughter is healed of a heart disease as I was asking God to heal and now the Lord has blessed us now we are growing all all in health more active filled with the holy spirit uh, i am not uh, praise the lord praise the lord 
this is the testimony from them there is another testimony from jennifer which we have already read this testimony praise the lord praise hallelujah. The lord. hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you Jesus praise you Jesus, praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. hallelujah thank you father thank you father there is a testimony my name is matilda and i am from uk i was always want to move my okay this is also uh, we announced it praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus uh, hallelujah hallelujah i'm sharon and i'm giving a testimony on my on my dad rock ever since my mom started seeing the normal 6 o'clock live streaming i pray to god that my dad may come out of drinking alcohol habit and i started to pray every day after few days of retreat it was announced his name was announced during the adoration and i claimed it for my dad ever since my dad has quit drinking praise the lord, praise the lord. Uh, hallelujah hallelujah there is a testimony from patience adi can basi all praise and thanksgiving to god i encountered divan uk by chance on fb in august 2020 and i joined in and just entered kongani retreat and also in the 3 day online deliverance retreat program i used to urinate frequently especially in the night but during one of the services it was announced that someone was having urinary tract issue and god is healing that person i claimed it with no idea about the situation but now i am completely healed and there is no problem at all praise the lord praise the lord uh, hallelujah. hallelujah thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. Praise, to jesus. praise to jesus there is another testimony from shirley i'm writing to this testimony to uh, testify my healing i was tested positive covid 19 and being in, in denial i refrained from going for a test on time it took a toll on my lungs and though i came out of it i couldn't do the basic things i used to do earlier walking a few steps was a nightmare as i would be breathless I started worrying a lot and I had intense fear of death. It so happened that in the last week of August the daily online retreats from Divinity Center UK popped up on my YouTube. Out of curiosity I clicked to watch and I loved my first experience. Jesus comforted me through the talks and sermons uh, from this uh, live streaming. So I faithfully took part in it daily since then. On September 2nd during the talk It was announced a COVID-19 patient who is seriously worried the Lord is healing you and from today your recovery starts the Lord is healing you right now with I uh, with all my heart I believed and claimed this promise from that moment the healing process started to take place in my life I faithfully looked to part in every day since then and I believed that promise and the Lord has healed me from that moment the breathing problem stopped and the same day my name was also mentioned and um, on uh, for an abdominal pain being healed and i have had this problem of abdomen pain for more than 25 years though it was diagnosed only 7 years ago and i'm healed completely from this praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus there are so many other testimonies we will read it in this coming days praise the lord praise the lord Uh, let's all kindly kneel down in front of the blessed sacrament and receive the blessing of the blessed sacrament my dear brothers and sisters we would like to thank all of you for joining us for this live streaming every day and also for all the uh, uh, intercession that you do yesterday you did the homework by reading gospel of matthew chapter 19 and today your homework is chapter 20 of gospel of matthew please do read this chapter and write down every word that touches your heart and uh, we are happy to announce that we have completed 100000 rosaries out of uh, 10 uh, uh, 1 million so we have 900000 more uh, please do uh, sincerely uh, pray together let us pray for the world evangelization and you will see the changes none of our prayers will go in vain you will see more and more evangelist being pulled by the lord from thousands more and more evangelist will come up more and more the sharing of the word of word of god will start more and more live streamings will start you will see the miracles happening in every families through the online ministries because none of these prayers that we do the 1 million rosaries will never ever go in vain 
Mother Mary is so happy that we are reciting Holy Rosary so many every day. So we can see the number growing each moment, each second. So it's a clear sign that there are so many who are working hard and reciting the Holy Rosary. And there is a spirit of prayer. There is a culture of prayer which is being uh, uh, in, uh, you know, started in many families. People have a thirst to pray more. It is a very good sign and it is a sign of change that is happening in the lives of so many people. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We will soon reach this target of 1 million. And then we will have different uh, messages the Lord wants to give us. Accordingly, we will move forward and you will see the miracles happening. Now, I'm so happy to see so many people who are praying for divine riches. And I receive lots of messages through WhatsApp saying so many people who are interceding for divine. They are thinking of divine every day. And some people say, Father, morning, afternoon, evening, every now and then we think of Divinity Center, we think of this live streaming, we think about all the words that we, you, uh, we preach and everything is re echoing in their mind. So this is something very important, my dear brothers and sisters. That means you are in the presence of God always. The word of God is covering you, word of God is leading you, guiding you. My dear brothers and sisters, it will happen it will happen more and more so please share with all your friends and family members about this live streaming and let them all experience this healing let's all kindly kneel down and in front of the blessed sacrament and receive the blessing and after this we have holy eucharistic celebration celebrated by father Joes. and let us pray for his intentions and all the ministries that are entrusted to him his studies and everything we pray for and I offer all your intentions, your personal intentions also on this altar. And let's receive the blessing of our Lord.
in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you with your spirit so my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. so my dear brothers and sisters today is the 23rd sunday in the ordinary time and in a very special way we thank the lord for the gift of this eucharist in today's gospel we read that love is the most important virtue that we have to practice in our day to day life each and every christian is called to love one another and our mission and our vision must be always based on love so my brothers and sisters wherever you are we are all united in prayer so we are called to love one another so in this holy eucharistic celebration in a special way with love we pray for all of you i'm sure that you are praying for me and this sender here and all the fathers and the ministers here may humbly request you again to pray for me in a special way in this eucharist and for my intentions i also uh, request you to pray for all the fathers here father anthony joseph and george and our beloved brothers and sisters who are involved here in the ministry of evangelization very especially i request your prayers for those who are directly involved apu sp felis masia lucas jaramaya and uh, john remember all of them in this eucharistic celebration and pray for them so that we may do the work of the lord in a better way and i pray for all the families who have requested our prayers very especially i pray for all those who are participating in this eucharistic celebration people who are sick people who have lost their job people who are in stress and people who are facing lot of trouble with their daily life we remember and pray for all the aged people people who need the help of someone else for their daily life and we especially pray for all the children with all these intentions we are celebrating the holy eucharist my dear friends these are moments of joy because we are meeting the person of christ christ is truly and really and substantially present in this eucharist so it's a joy for all of us that we are meeting our jesus christ here on this altar praise the lord, praise the lord. let's also ask pardon and mercy from the good lord for all our failures in the past I confess to almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done in what I have failed to do through my faults through my faults through my most grievous faults therefore I ask bless Mary our virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god May Almighty God have mercy on all of us, forgive all our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Oh uh-huh. 
and receive adoption look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever The first reading, a reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord was addressed to me as follows. Son of man, I have appointed you as sentry to the house of Israel. When you hear a word from my mouth, warn them in my name. If I say to a wicked man, wicked wretch, you are to die and you do not speak to warn the wicked man to renounce his ways then he shall die for his sin but i will hold you responsible for his death if however you do warn a wicked man to renounce his ways and repent and he does not repent then he shall die for his sin but you yourself will have saved your life. This is the word of the Lord. The response will be, Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that day you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Heal the rock who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts. Come and let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for He is our God. And we the people who belong to His pasture, the flock that is led by His hand. Oh, that today you would listen to His voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would listen to His voice, Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my word. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. The second reading 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul's to the Romans. Avoid getting into debt, except the debt of mutual love. If you love your fellow men, you have carried out your obligations. All the commandments, you shall not commit adultery. You shall not kill. You shall not steal. You shall not covet, and so on. Are you summed up in this single command? You must love your neighbor as yourself. Love is the one thing that cannot hurt your neighbor. That is why it is the answer to every one of the commandments. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's arise for the gospel. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother does something wrong, go and have it out with him alone, between you, between your two selves. If he listens to you, you have won back your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you. The evidence of two or three witnesses is required to sustain any charge. But if he refuses to listen to this, report it to the community. And if he refuses to listen to the community, treat him like a pagan or a tax collector. I tell you solemnly, whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven. I tell you solemnly once again, if two of you on earth agree to ask anything at all, it will be granted to you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three meet in my name, I shall be there with them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. We are all Christians. And we know that we are following Christ. And we all have the seal for Jesus Christ. We all have the seal for Christian life. In today's gospel, Jesus is telling us, what is more important for a Christian? In the first letter of St. Paul to the Romans, in the, today's second reading, reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, St. Paul reminds us that my brothers and sisters, that though we have many commandments, the commandment of love is more important. And in today's gospel, Jesus clearly tells us that your brother, is very important for you. That is why he says, if you feel that your brother does something wrong, go and correct him personally. My brothers and sisters, there are certain pillars for Christian life. 
there are certain pillars for christian life and if you ask me what is the most important pillar of christian life for christianity i can easily give you an answer and we all can give an answer that love is the basic commandment and pillar on which everything is built praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord so in this uh, ho small homily i would like to explain to you my brothers and sisters six pillars of christian life six pillars of christian life i would say i start from the holy eucharist you know that as i already mentioned love is the basis of all pillars or love is the most fundamental pillar and if you love your brother if you love god then my brothers and sisters then only you are eligible to celebrate the holy eucharist that is why in the gospel of matthew we read if you have some difficulty with your brethren please go and reconcile with him then you come back and celebrate the holy the sacrifice because my brothers and sisters our sacrifice has only value only we are in reconciliation with other one in other terms only we are in love with one another so my brothers and sisters the first and primary pillar of christian life is love then it comes the holy eucharist the holy eucharist is a center source and summit of christian life my brothers and sisters in uh, jesus clearly tells us in each eucharist we are celebrating the paschal mystery of christ when we are celebrating the holy eucharist we are called to participate we are called to participate in the banquet of the lord and we are given the real body and blood of christ praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord so in the gospel of mark chapter 14 verse 22 in the gospel of mark chapter 14 verse 22 my brothers and sisters heavenly father for our father in heaven he loved the world so much as a result he has sent his only son to this world and he loved his people by giving his son and we know jesus who was a historical person who lived on this earth and he was with the people he, he worked many miracles and wonders and he was with the people he loves the world and he loves the human being my brothers and sisters that is why jesus christ established the sacrament of holy eucharist for an everlasting relationship with us whenever you are coming to meet jesus christ whenever you are coming to participate in this holy eucharist my brothers and sisters we are accepting the call of love and remember that in holy eucharist we are really given the body and blood of christ the gospel of mark chapter 14 verse 22 while they were eating he took a loaf of bread and over blessing blessing it he broke it and gave it to them and said take this is my body my brothers and sisters here comes the love of jesus he was even ready to give his body he could have said that bless the uh, bless the bread and he should not he, he, he could have said that it is like my body no he said this is my body take this is my body and in the in the same gospel gospel of mark chapter 14 verse 24 verse 24 we read he said to them this is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my brothers and sisters, when we are coming to celebrate the Paschal mystery of the Lord, we are coming to receive the body and blood of Christ. We are coming to experience the love of Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, we all have friends. And we all, sometimes we greet them, 
during birthdays and important feasts, sometimes we exchange our gifts. What are you giving to your friend? Normally, to our close friend, we would like to give the best. Am I right? We would like to give the best. Sometimes we ask them in advance, what would you like to have? Or if you are so close to him, you know his taste, his or her taste. So you give them whatever they need, according to their need. But my brothers and sisters, it happens when we are in good relationship. When we are in good relationship. But my brothers and sisters, Jesus, being our master, our guide, good friend, and our brother, he gave himself to us. Jesus told, Jesus told everyone, come if you believe, this is my body, this is my real blood. My brothers and sisters, do we want to become good friends of Jesus Christ? If you really want to become good friends of Jesus Christ, accept the invitation of coming to the altar of the Lord and receive the real body and blood of Christ. I'm sure that that will really make a change in our life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. My brothers and sisters, those who feel that they are tired of their life, those who feel that I have no plan of, for my life, everything is lost. I have lost my health. I have lost my job. I have lost my, uh, I have lost my family. And I am sick. I am in depression. I am sad. If you are in this situation, the Lord is telling you, come and receive the body and blood of Christ. Then you will understand that the Lord will, uh, Lord always he has a plan for us. Do you believe? Yes, we believe. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Do you believe, my brothers and sisters? Yes, Even do. those people who are hearing me from far away, people who are in stress and struggle, my brother, my sister, the Lord is telling you, the Lord is telling my brother, my sister, the Lord is telling you very personally that he loves you. He has a plan for you. Come and experience the love of Jesus. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11, we read, I have a plan. Please do repeat after me. For surely I know the plans I have for you. For surely I know the plans I have for you. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. Plans for your welfare. Plans for your welfare. And not for harm. And not for harm. To give you a future with hope. To give you a future with hope. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For surely I know the plans I have for you. For surely I know the plans I have for you. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. Plans for your welfare. Plans for your welfare. And not for harm. And not for to give you a future with hope. To give you a future with hope. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My brothers and sisters, Jesus has a plan for each and every one of us. Sometimes we do not have any plan. Sometimes we had a plan, but that is already lost. Or that is already broken. We have no hope for our life. But those people who are approaching the altar of the Lord, and those people who are receiving the Holy Communion, who are receiving the body and blood of Christ, they are given the gift of understanding the love of Jesus Christ. So my brothers and sisters, I've already explained two pillars. That is, the one is the basic pillar of Christian life is love. The second one we come, the, the sacrament of Eucharist. Now thirdly, I would like to explain to you, my brothers and sisters, one of the most important sacraments that is the sacrament of reconciliation or confession. Or confession. Very often what happens, my brothers and sisters, we approach the altar of the Lord and we receive the body and blood of Christ. But we have to ask ourselves, does it make any change in my life and your life? Does it make any change in you and me? If not, very often, we are not prepared to celebrate the Mass. We are not prepared. We did not make any preparation for the celebration. 
May I humbly ask you, how many of us are preparing for the Mass? Even for a wedding if you are going, or even if you are going for any other function, major functions, we make a lot of preparations. Even for our day-to-day -day life, we make a lot of preparations. Even those people who are going for tomorrow morning for work, this evening itself, they make a lot of preparation. I'm sure that my brothers and sisters who are going for work early morning tomorrow at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock, they may be preparing today itself. And, and our children who are going for school tomorrow, they do the homework today. They keep their bags ready. And they keep whatever needed for their tomorrow's class, everything ready. My brothers and sisters, for everything and anything, we have preparation. But how many of us are preparing for the celebration of Eucharist? That is why sometimes it is not an experience for us. Because we are not preparing. We may be busy with so many things. We may be running around. We may have gone for shopping. We may be busy with cooking. And we may be busy with ironing. Immediately after that, without any preparation, we come rush to the church and spend some time, 40 or 50 minutes there. We couldn't concentrate. Am I right? At least in some cases it happens, my brothers and sisters. I know that there are so many brothers and sisters who are really preparing for the Holy Eucharistic celebration. With fasting, with prayer, and with good thoughts, they are preparing themselves. And I'm sure for those people who are preparing in this way, for them it is an experience. And for many others who are not preparing for the Eucharistic celebration, it is not an experience at all. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. So, my brothers and sisters, prepare for the Holy Eucharistic celebration. That is why the importance of the third uh, pillar, that is the sacrament of reconciliation. We have to reconcile with the Lord. We have to reconcile with our brethren before the celebration of the Eucharist. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In today's gospel, we have heard that when Jesus, Jesus is clearly reminding his disciples that I tell you solemnly, whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven. In the gospel of Mark, the gospel of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 15 to 20, we have heard. So my brothers and sisters, when we are confessing our sins, we become fine people. We become refined people. And we are close to the Lord. And we are eligible for the celebration of Holy Eucharist. That is why St. Paul reminds in his letter to Corinthians that my brothers and sisters, those who are approaching the altar of the Lord without due preparation, they are not receiving the sacrament of salvation. In fact, they are receiving their own death. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So my brothers and sisters, when you are approaching the Lord, when we are approaching the altar of the Lord, we are called to make sufficient preparations. So that is the third pillar, the sacrament of confession. In the sacrament of confession, we are not only relating with our people at home. We are not only relating with our, we are not only reconciling with our, our brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters, we are really reconciling with the Lord. In this sacrament, the Lord is pouring out the mercy. Those who are approaching the altar of the Lord, those who are approaching the sacrament of confession, they are all given the, given the mercy of the Lord. So we can say clearly that the sacrament of reconciliation is a sacrament of mercy. In this sacrament, the Lord is not asking you why you did so. What happened to you? Nothing. It is a compassionate hearing. It is a compassionate hearing without judging anyone, without asking you any questions. I don't think that nowhere in this world 
you will get such a good experience when you are coming to the confessional when you are experiencing when you are sharing or when you are confessing your sins the lord is pouring out his mercy my brothers and sisters this is not a sacrament of human beings though the priest is there to administer the sacrament he is there for jesus christ he represents christ there he is there to pour out the mercy of the lord so when you are when you are confessing your sins you are reconciling with our lord himself praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord, praise the lord. Thank, you, thank you jesus praise you jesus, praise you, jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So, my brothers and sisters, in order to have an experience, in order to experience the love of God, open your heart before the Lord in the sacrament of confession. In the sacrament of confession. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The fourth pillar I want to explain today is that is the word of God. regarding word of god i think uh once or twice i spoke here in the same place in the same altar but again i would like to remind you the word of god is very much important for our life the word of god is very powerful letter to hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 letter to hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 indeed the word of god is living and active sharper than any two edged sword piercing until it divides soul from the spirit praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus worship you jesus worship you jesus hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. please to repeat after me indeed the word of god is living and active indeed the word of god is living and active sharper than any two edged sword sharper than any two edged Whoa. piercing until it divides soul from the spirit soul from spirit piercing until it divides soul from spirit praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. and it continues joints joints from marrow joints from marrow it is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart it is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the it heart it is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart it is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the so heart. my brothers and sisters the word of god is active the word of god is powerful the word of god is living so remember that the word of god the book of bible the holy book of bible the word of god in word of god god lives in the same way as in the sacrament of holy eucharist our lord jesus christ lives in the word of god so my brothers and sisters it is not like any other books it is not like any other books when you are reading this book it you are you are you are conversing with a person you are meeting the wonderful person of jesus christ and you are you are making a relationship with the god by reading this book praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord my brothers and sisters we have heard the testimony of so many people who could make substantial change in their life by reading the word of god by reading the word of god so today may I humbly request you to examine how many of us are reading the word of god daily if at all we read are we spending sufficient time with the word of god when you are slowly spending time with the word of god when you are reading and reflecting the word of god surely slowly it make changes in our life so may i humbly request you that if if you if you, if you could find time if it is possible half an hour if not at least 15 minutes every day 15 minutes every day when you get up read 15 minutes or 10 minutes morning and evening 10 minutes if you read the word of god surely there will be change and those people who have time i would say please read the word of god for 30 minutes every day surely there will be a change in your life maybe you are uh, you are trying for many things please start the re- start reading the word of god then there is a change 
there is surely a change in our life because as we have seen the word of god is active the word of god is powerful and the word of god is making or molding our life because these are not simple letters this is not an ordinary book in this book we are meeting the person of christ praise the lord Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Worship you Jesus. Worship you Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now I would like to speak the about the fifth pillar that is family prayer. Family prayer. That is very important for our Christian life. Parents, children, grandparents everybody together the family which is praying together will last forever my brothers and sisters my dear parents who are hearing me this is the best example that you can give to your children so many of our parents they are very much interested in the welfare of our children all of you but how many of you are thinking that their spiritual formation is important my brothers and sisters whatever you give them if you are not giving them spiritual formation i don't think that they will respond well to you if they are growing with christ if they are growing in prayer if they are growing in worship surely you are doing wonderful things for your children we are trying to find out very good schools we are trying to find out very good tuition masters and we give them all the opportunities to grow intellectually so my brothers and sisters that is well and good and we try to protect them in all the ways that we can but along with that how far you have to think how far you are able to extend spiritual help towards them remember that some 30 or 40 or 50 years ago many of our parents they were not very rich people people who are hearing me my brothers and sisters before a generation our lifestyle was different and we were not the, uh, the people who are having sufficient facilities and money and wealth and everything remember my dear brothers and sisters your parents were most of your parents were not rich like you they were struggling with their daily life they did not have sufficient money sometimes they had nothing in their hand you might have struggled for daily food but remember your parents most of in most of your cases they had given you a very good example that they told you or they thought that uh, they have given you an example of praying together if you have nothing they told you that do not worry go and ask your heavenly father so the we had a good custom of praying together in our families parents grandparents and grandchildren all of them together praying together so my brothers and sisters in every family those families who are hearing me who are hearing me let them start let them start i i know that in most of the families there are prayer if any family is not having the prayer at least for, for half an hour 15 minutes to 20 minutes at least you spend at least time for one rosary together pray for your husband pray for your wife pray for your children pray for your grandparents so pray for everyone in the family that is a unity we are sharing the love of christ we are sharing the table of christ my brothers and sisters we are sh- sharing our difficulties before the lord together that will surely strengthen your faith that will really make a change in your life so brothers and sisters especially in the families many families um are having their daily prayers evening prayers rosary or other prayers those families who are not having prayers especially the families which are not having peace let them come together and pray let them come together and pray surely 
the bondages of sin will be broken praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus worship you jesus worship you jesus my brothers and sisters every day when you are praying together the sin the bondages of sin will be broken there will be light in your family you see the power of the holy spirit in your family i'm sure most of your intentions which are not at fulfilled will be fulfilled do you believe yes we believe do you believe yes we believe do you believe yes we believe in today's gospel in the gospel of matthew chapter 18 verse 20 we read today i told you solemnly once again if two of you on earth agree to ask for wherever two or three are gathered in my name i am there Amen. among them praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so when you are praying when husband and wife grandparents parents and children when they are praying together remember that our lord jesus christ is also present in your family please to repeat after me for where two or three are gathered in my name for where two or three are gathered in my name i am there among them i am there among them for where two or three are gathered for where two or three are gathered in my name in my name i am there among them i am there among them for where two or three are gathered for where two or three are gathered in my name in my name i am there among them i am there among them praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Worship you Jesus. Worship you Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So my brothers and sisters wherever you are please join with your family for your prayer. At least 20 minutes if possible half an hour if you spend time together sharing your sorrows and joy before the Lord. you will see a substantial change in your life and i am sharing the last point that is special devotion to mother mary and saint joseph special devotion to mother mary and saint joseph i know that in our families uh, they are preparing for the nativity of our lady in this context i would like to tell you the and I, i i think that this is this is a sixth pillar of our family christian families if you have devotion towards mother mary if you have devotion towards saint joseph surely their protection will be with you and i know in most of our families we pray to mother we pray with mother mary remember that sometimes people confuse people are confused and think we are praying rosary and we are praying to mother mary please we are not praying to mother mary we are praying with mother mary we are praying with mother mary we are reflecting on the great mysteries of christ life we are praying with mother mary and mother mary is interceding for us praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord in the gospel of john we see that um in the in the in the wedding at cana you see that mother mary told the disciples do what he says my brothers and sisters there is power for mother mary's intercession and the same way there is power for saint joseph's inter, inter, intercession when they are interceding for us we are we are our our intentions are fulfilled in the gospel of john chapter 2 verse 5 his mother said to the servants do whatever he tells you please to repeat after me his mother said to the servants his mother said to the servants do whatever he tells you do whatever he tells his you. mother said to the servants his mother said to the servants do whatever he tells you do whatever he tells you his mother said to the servants his mother said to the servants do whatever he tells you do whatever he tells you my brothers and sisters when we are approaching mother mary with our intentions 
and when we are approaching saint joseph with our intentions when we are praying together with mother mary and joseph we are well protected by their holy intercession praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord so may i humbly request you and that is a sixth pillar of our christian life devotion towards mother mary and saint joseph of course i know in our families rosaries are said always along with that we can also ask the special intercession of saint joseph for our families you know that these are the two people these are the two people who were the pillars of the holy family jesus mary and joseph and they were the people lived in the holy family and you know that there were lot of struggles and difficulties for that family you know that it was the family formed itself in the context of a suspicion and even the birth of jesus and all the difficulties until the end of their life they faced lot of difficulties and troubles but they could overcome all these difficulties because the presence of jesus was with them praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord so my brothers and sisters when you are praying when we are seeking the intercession of mother mary and saint joseph our families will be blessed we will get a special protection in our families so please to keep in mind in the christianity these are the important pillars our our life is based on the great principle of love our master jesus christ is love himself praise the lord praise the lord then we have the sacrament of holy eucharist the sacrament of uh, reconciliation or confession then we have the divine word word of god word of god that is very important for us then we have family prayer then special devotion to mother mary and joseph mother mary and saint joseph my brothers and sisters if you if you are taking these things seriously i am sure that your life as christians will be fruitful in this holy eucharistic celebration in a special way we pray for the power of the spirit to renew our christian life in the book of joel chapter 2 verse 28 onwards we read i will pour out my spirit on all of you in the book of joel in the, in the uh, book of joel chapter 2 verse 28 it is written that then afterward i will pour out my spirit on all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream and your young men shall see visions praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord my brothers and sisters if your life is if you feel that not that fruitful if you feel that you need a new energy if you feel that i feel i get bored with my ordinary life pray for the power of the spirit then the spirit will strengthen us the spirit will help us and spirit will lead us into the conviction of christian life please do remember these six pillars that will always give you a help that will always guide you and these pillars always protect you from all harm in your christian life in this eucharistic celebration we pray for the power of the holy spirit in a special way we ask the lord lord give us the grace courage and strength to lead our christian life with more enthusiasm and zeal so that let our life be an example for many people praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus my brothers and sisters in this eucharist i am very specially praying for all of you and your intentions please to pray for me and for all our brothers and sisters who are here with all these intentions we continue the holy eucharistic celebration amen
I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was in God the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our, our sins, sins he was crucified and our Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And he rose again on the third day. day. In, in accordance with the scripture, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. He will he come again in glory to judge, to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom, kingdom will have no end. end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world come. Amen. my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by participating, by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It 
it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks father most holy through your beloved son jesus christ you are word through whom you made all things whom you sent as savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people he stretched out his hands as we endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with the angels and saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and then did willingly in his passion he took bread giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was sended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and chalice of salvation giving thanks to you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church 
spread throughout the world and bring to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, John Wilson our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your presence. Our mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, throughout the ages, we may merit to be caused to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let's offer each other the sign of peace. him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are to those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the foot of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty Father, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is centered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord. Prayer for priests. O oh Jesus, eternal priest, keep your priests within the shelter of your heart, where none may harm them. Keep unstained their anointed hands, which daily hold your sacred body. Keep holy their lips, moistened with your precious blood. Keep holy and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime mark of your glorious priesthood. Let your love surround and shield them from the contagion of this world. Their labors for the glory of God may be blessed with abundant fruits, and may the ones whom they serve be the source of joy to them here on earth and in heaven their eternal crown. Let them be eager to be with you, to proclaim your good news, and to fight against the evil one. Lord, give your church holy priests, religious and lay leaders. Jesus, redeem of the world. Keep pure your priests and those whom they serve. Holy Mary, Queen of Praise. Pray for your priests. Saint Alphonse. Pray for the religious. Saint Augustine of England. Pray for England. Holy family. Keep our families pure and holy. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking for the reign of souls. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking for the renowned souls. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking for the reign of souls. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed worship. Amen. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, and from the deadly pestilence, he will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, or the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent, you will trample underfoot. Those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I'll answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. 
With long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Most holy. O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving. 
be every moment thine my brothers and sisters thank you so much for joining us to worship the lord wherever you are we are praying for you we are united in prayer please to pray for me and all the fathers and ministers here the power of the lord may help you have a blessed and good night see you tomorrow at 6 pm here in uk